Big time report coming out of Tampa Bay. Rick Stroud of the Tampa Bay Times veteran reporter reporting this late last night. Quote, contract talks between Bucks veteran receiver Mike Evans have produced uh, no progress and seem to have reached an impasse. Evans is in the final year of his contract, and this season could now be his last in Tampa Bay. And this has always been the dude. This has always been the dude for me when wide receiver comes up, whether it was OBJ or Hopkins or now the Hollywood Brown or Hunter Renfro or the pipe dream of Devontae Adams. This has always been the dude in the uh, for two main reasons. One, it's the most pragmatic of two guys who legitimately move the needle. Uh, Devontae Adams has like a gazillion dollar cap hit the next three seasons. And Mike Evans is in the final year of his contract in Tampa Bay. They went all in, they got their ring and now they're eating their medicine. They have 75 million in dead cap. They have the most amount of rookies on their roster. They are decidedly made no significant upgrade at quarterback. And Mike Evans has said he doesn't want to move his family out of Florida and he wants to stay a Buccaneer. Uh, but um, I have a source that tells me Mike Evans also wants to make a shit ton of money because we all do. And if the Jets are going to give him a better opportunity to pay him his worth than the Buccaneers, like is he going to give them a massive hometown discount for c- catching passes for Kyle Trask on a roster with nine rookies on it? Um, is that going to be his third act? Or does he want to do what Dalvin Cook did? And instead of going home to Florida, come up uh, to gang green and, and try and win a ring. Uh, why not? Why not? Now, would it happen before the start of the season? It could. Maybe they do him a solid after he's been a stalwart of their franchise for a freaking decade, but more likely at the deadline as obviously all teams are convincing themselves that they could be contenders. The NFC South is not a very strong division, but if they're out of it uh, by the trade deadline, this is the guy. This is absolutely the guy. Nine straight thousand yard seasons he produces no matter what he had a thousand yards with mike glennon as his quarterback if you're too young to remember mike glennon it was basically daniel jones on a vegan diet okay and this dude put up a thousand with that Enter tom brady first years of brady he has 27 touchdowns in those first two seasons an absolute red zone machine he gives you a vertical component to his game that is just like what alan lazard provides but he's like alan lazard if you took all of his madden sliders and jacked them up all the way to the right please him and alan lazard are not in the same stratosphere of, of player um but a perfect fit for the uh how aaron Rodgers likes to throw the football and consistent durable never a peep of him uh, of anything off the field being in on a guy like odell beckham jr and not being in on mike evans to me would make no sense you're sitting on 20 million and you are all in. I know we're sick of hearing it, but we are. We, we are as focused on the present next year or two more than any other team in the NFL. We are. And now it's it's not about this year. It's about this window. And I'm fine with Mike giving Mike Evans a deal to be here for the next two or three seasons and ride it out with Aaron. And then you don't even have to worry about wide receiver. You have Garrett, you have Evans, and you have Lazard. And is that the perfect allocation of resources? I don't know, but you're sitting on 20 million and this guy makes you a crap ton better. Please come on. You're rolling into Kansas city and your primary outside re- receiver in 11 personnel is going to be what Mike Evans or, or Jason Brownlee. Stop. Come on. Let's sit at the adult table for a second. We don't have to stand for these UDFAs like this. Okay. <laughs> come on. Like we can root for him and we can hope for the best and we can say, we're going to use the tight ends. I've said all that stuff, and that's fine, and that's true. And if we don't get Mike Evans, it's not the end of the world. But this is a massive upgrade, a massive upgrade. And Joe Douglas just spoke yesterday about why Aaron Rodgers took a pay cut and how And Aaron Rodgers has specifically said for splash moves that can become available at the trade. This isn't me making stuff up. These guys have said this is the kind of opportunity they're looking for. And man, this would be huge. This would absolutely be huge. Mike Evans is is the guy. He's the guy. If the Jets are going to make a move, uh, this is it. And we'll talk all soon.